Getting to this sort of nature used to be an impulse. Now it's about commitment. Parallax schedules, nasal swabs, patience, smiling with your eyes. We're all in the same boat. We all learn to work with the conditions that we inherit. So I asked, where is the best spot to find the mushrooms? And I was told, in the words of Gacha. You've got to think like a mushroom. This collection of B-roll is a hand dealt to some. Mossy forest floors giving bloom to brilliantly vibrant guileness or in my language, chanterelles. I've got to say my haul this time was a lot better than last time. Um, still not that much. Heading back in now, but uh, I hear there are bears on the prowl. But if it's not the bears that get me, it's definitely the flies. They are going crazy. They drive me up the wall. threatening as mushroom hunting gets. A man with a bucket and a semi-dull knife. Tell me if you spot any mushrooms. As far as foraging goes, this is pretty damn difficult. They seem to hide themselves pretty damn well. Look at that. Just hanging out, doing their thing. Now they're mine. Ultimately, I'll forget to film what happens with these after we pick up a new carcass, like Vin for Cat. Successor to Rockies, the cat, the myth, the legend, who died fighting a snake. This is a life a lot of us have left behind, but a condition of life here. It's the cuisine of availability, and for me, the sparkling fuse of inspiration. This venison hunted in a Latvian forest, braised with juniper and venison stock until meltingly tender. Cherries from the tree outside lend themselves to a salsa with parsley and dill. Janjorgas, which I think are currants, and dill flowers give a sweet and floral accent. Not all things are of the local taste. Local lamb is surprisingly lean and delicious, but you'll have a hard time convincing the locals that lamb is good. This cottage pie is a simple attempt from me and may have done the trick, but then again the people are polite, so maybe the trick is on me. Leftover egg whites are whipped into a flurry, forming a quick pavlova, kiwi dessert, with freshly foraged cloud berries and a cloudberry jam. Katupeli salati, potato salad. I made that with a dill and mustard mayo using egg yolks. We 
eat and we bake in an omnipresent Baltic sun. Okay, the New Zealand guy. <laughs> Trying the local water from Brangoli. Yeah, that's good. So, how the taste? It's uh... There's nothing special, just a uh, clean water. Tastes like nothing, like yeah. pure, real pure. <laughs> so, what was the better, beer from Brangoli or the water? Well, considering I don't like beer that much, the water... Beer for, uh, for, uh, for beer before the party and uh, the water, water after, after the party. <laughs> the long, searing hot summer is given to us under the condition of a harsh winter. The summer, a dual harvest of potency and provision. Local labour here is very cheap, yet suspiciously young. And we catch Whoa, nothing. Oh, ninja! Whoa! Good. Bye bye. None of this would be possible without the ability to stay looking forward. Over time, the occupied past will rot. But for now, it is something to observe. Brutal Stalinist architecture pockmarks the landscape. And then occasionally there are full-fledged anomalies. This is Sada. This is a town constructed in the 50s providing accommodation for the workers of a nearby peat bog. This town is a time warp of Soviet architecture and town planning. The streets are aligned in a star pattern, leading to a central area with grand, imposing facades, then towards other living areas with painfully efficient buildings. As the operations scaled back, so did the town, and the rugs seemed to be pulled out from underneath them. But since the last time I visited, new roads, a new paint job for the community centre, but only the front. This small town, despite all odds, is keeping the fire lit for the present in the dwellings of the past. Like Lietuvan's territory. One guy carved all of this. It turns out he had a lot of free time and winters are very long here. No upgrades. So prepare your eyes. This is some wood carving I cannot explain nor can unsee. But with population decline in the Baltics, Maybe this is sending a rather blunt message. A box of dicks. <laughs> yes, we all know that's not how it works after seeing what we've just seen. If you've been following me for any decent period of time, you would have seen this. This is Eumus, the Baltic pagan god of fertility and good harvest. It embraces just the sort of optimism I like and sort of the sort of optimism that I've seen in Latvia. This is an acceptance of the conditions that we inherit, but also an eye on the future. And that's where we'll leave it.